You know, you're like the first person actually I've, I've talked to who's uh, read the book, so. Is that scary? Yeah, it's terrifying. Yeah, it's super scary. Well, let's talk about the writing process. Was this cathartic for you? I think it has been cathartic. <laughs> Known for being funny, Hannah Hart flips the script and gets serious in her new memoir, Buffering. We dive into mental health, abandonment, drug use, sexuality, sex, love, heartbreak, religion, self-harm. And that's really, that's it. <laughs> is it weird to hear me read that list of here's everything you put in your book? It is, it is really weird. I'm like, ah, oh, Wow, yeah, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot. When I was working on the book uh, with my publisher, HarperCollins, nobody had read it yet, so they kept calling it like a humor book. And like, I'm like, ah, and me and Jessica would be like, ah, there's funny parts. Anna grew up unconventionally, raised outside of San Francisco by a mother who suffers from schizophrenia. My mom is like, in a lot of ways, like my inspiration. Hannah's mom has been homeless for stretches of the star's adult life, but today, the 29-year-old is her conservator. Unfortunately, the way the system is set up, um, even in the shelter system, is that if somebody isn't medicated, um, or if somebody is, you know, having an episode, like they can't come into the shelters. So our hands are tied for a really long time, and the advice, the advice that was given to us was, the best you can hope for is that she gets arrested. You kind of had to set her up to get arrested, so that then you could get her the help. I really, really, really want to humanize schizophrenia and mental illness and be like, guys, it's not the end of the world. Or rather, it doesn't have to be, you know? Yeah. So that's something I'm inc really excited about. Are you ready for everyone to know all this about you? I mean, we're about to find out. I almost feel like I don't have a choice. It's like I've been given the gift of this platform and this story, and I have a responsibility to tell it. And better you know? to tell it yourself than to have somebody tell it for you. Yeah, 100%, in my opinion. <laughs>